Hello, sports fans and White Sox fans and baseball fans. I'm here again with another Out of the Park uh, episode for you for the 1994 Chicago White Sox. As you know, we are taking them through a season. And um, we are today going to be playing a game of July 22nd against the Cleveland Indians. This was, of course, before they were the Guardians. So, uh, yes, we are playing the Indians today. And uh, uh, you can see that by the schedule right here. This is where it is. It's a 6.05 p.m. game. Uh, but let's go look at the standings so far. As, they, as we stand, we are 50 and 45, five and a half games out of first in the division. We are four and a half behind the second place Indians, who we are playing currently. And so we aren't in the best of um, shape, really, at this moment in time. And uh, by the way, before I go any further, um, I would appreciate comments below. I got a new microphone uh, for recording my videos, and I want to know... If you notice any sound difference, um, you know, any uh, particularly if it's improved um, from what I used to do when I was just recording with the um, with the computer. So uh, be very interested to know if you see a difference. But anyway, let's get on with the game at hand. You know where we are in the standings. And so. We are ready to start the game. Uh, this is the lineups that we're going to have that we're going to be sending out there. Now, again, I want to remind everybody, this is out of the park baseball. I'm just the manager of the team. I'm not the general manager. The general manager makes all the deals. He calls players up. He sends players down. He makes trades. He acquires players from other places, whatever he does. And I have to use what he gives me. And we also, since this is out of the park, we have players that perhaps never actually made it to the major leagues um, that could be on my roster. So I just want to let everybody know that. Because if you're sitting here and you're saying, this is not the 1994 White Sox. Well, yeah, it probably really isn't. And as we can notice over here, we have Karkovice and Ventura getting uh, tired. I think that's what that means, those yellow bars. It doesn't mean that they're injured. It just means that they're getting tired from playing. But this is a divisional game. It's very important. So we need to have them playing. We have Glenn on the mound. I don't know what his, um, I forget what his first name is, because he's a player that I that either never really made it to the majors or um, was uh or the computer made up you know because there are fictional players in the game too as well with out of the park so we can see on the year he's pitched 11 games for us and he's five and one with a 436 earned run average and a 138 whip so he's not terrible and he is going up against a guy named Quayar. in fact his name is juan Quayar. so let's look at glenn see if we can get his name yes austin glenn that's right so anyway, our lineup will go this way. It's going to be Lance Johnson in center, uh, Chris Morgan in right field, the big hurt, Frank Thomas at first base, Ventura Highway at third base, Karkovice at catcher, Ozzy Guillen at shortstop, uh, Justin Talbot in left field, Mike Lavalle, the backup catcher, is going to be the DH today, and Kim is at second. Now, of course, I could make changes to this, but usually I just go with what the computer recommends. Uh, for the Indians, they're going to have Vizquel at DH, which is really kind of interesting because he's a gold glove shortstop. They're going to have Jim Tomei at first base, uh, Manny Ramirez in right, 
Pineda at third base, Wayne Kirby in right, uh, Ricardo Valera in center, Tony Pena at catcher, Adam Roundtree will be their shortstop, and Mike King will be at third base for them. So, with all that having been said, let me uh, let me mute the computer. I don't know if I had it um, to not record the computer sounds, but anyway, I am muting the computer. So. Hopefully that won't be a distraction. And uh, we are visiting, so we got Lance Johnson up. And I'm going to swing away. And anytime he's ready. There we go. And Lance Johnson is going to hit it to right field and the fly out to right field. So there is one down and Chris Morgan up at the plate. And he is going to ground out to second. So there's two down quickly for us. And you got Big Frank. Frank Thomas is up at the plate. And Frank, did he get a base hit? Yes, he did. Base hit for Frank Thomas. And up steps Robin Ventura Highway. Of course, tiring, as I said. But let's see if he can beat that out. No. So we do. We are retired in the first. And uh, the Indians are coming to bat. We've got Austin Glynn out there on the mound. And I've gone over his stats before the game started. So let's see if he can... Pitch well. Of course, you know, remember, keep in mind, the bar down here shows how tired he's getting. Um, I, and I do, I have been told, I have a tendency to stick with pitchers too long and let them get pummeled sometimes. And yes, I do tend to do that. I am from the old school, and the old school says, let starting pitchers pitch. Um, even though, and really in the 90s, we were still in kind of in that mode. Where they weren't really, I mean, I guess they knew about pitch counts, but they weren't really relying on them. Um, as the, oh, a base hit is going to knock in a run right there. So the Indians take a lead on a uh, 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 RBI single by Pineda knocking Ramirez home. So we've got Austin Glenn in trouble. He's in trouble. There's an out. Frank Thomas makes the unassisted out. It would have been nice if Glenn had gotten that out before Pineda knocked in the run. But they are, do have a one nothing lead. We go to the top of the second, and Carco Weiss is up at the plate. And Carco Weiss is going to pop out to second. So we're not even really hitting the ball very hard so far. Uh, Ozzy Gijin. And he is going to get on. He's going to get on. Nice. That was a single. The right fielder did not play that one. And uh, Justin Talbot's up with one down and one on. And he walks. Sweetness. That brings up Lavalier, the DH today. And he is going to ground out to first and into a double play to end the inning. So... Not good for us. Not good at all. Um, we go to the bottom of the second. Austin Glenn back out there on the mound. And he strikes out the first batter. And that brings up Tony Pena. Tony Pena. Remember Tony Pena used to catch like by getting down on his butt practically. Um... And then uh, with two down, we got Adam Roundtree, the shortstop up. I don't know if he's a backup for them or if they just decided he's better than Vizquel defensively, which would be shocking. Um, and then Mike King, uh, there's a base hit, but he strikes out Mike King, uh, does Glynn. 
So we go to the top of the third, losing one nothing, and uh, Kim, the second baseman, I believe for us, is up, and he is striking out. Lance Johnson back to the top of the order. And Lance Johnson is going to fly out to right, which is, I think, what he did in the first inning. Chris Morgan is up with two down. And Chris Morgan strikes out, comes back to the bench, and we are going to go back out to the field for the bottom of the third. Austin Glenn is getting used up really quickly. He is tiring fast. And uh, with one out, that brings Jim Tomei to the plate. And he strikes out. He strikes out Tomster. And we're bringing up um, Manny Ramirez. Manny, of course, got the base hit the last time that Alain. Now he's walking. So he's been on base twice. And he scored on the uh, RBI by this man, Pineda. This time Pineda is going to ground out, though. And we are still losing by just a single run. And uh, Frank Thomas at the plate. If we're going to get runs, this is like a makeshift patchwork lineup. So if we're going to get runs, Thomas has to come through and generate the runs. Um, well, there's going to be a base hit for Ventura, tired or not. So he is aboard, and that brings up Carco Vice. And Carco Vice is going to ground out, but he does move Ventura to second with two down. And Ozzie Guillen up. And Ozzie Guillen is going to be out. Got on last time with a single, but not this time. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Glenn really is getting burned up. This guy, what is, he? he's like the most non-stamina guy in the world. He's got less stamina than I do. All right, so there's a base hit against him, and Ricardo Valera is up. And he bunts the ball, and Glenn throws him out at first. But that does move the man over to second base. Um, Tony Pena up. And Tony Pena is, was that an out? That, I think, was an out, yes. So, um, man at second. And this is going to be, this is incredible. This is going to be Glenn's last inning. He's only going to go four innings, which is really bugging me because I really wanted to get five or six out of this guy. And there's an error. And that's going to bring in another run, I believe. Yeah, it does. So the error allows another run to score. And... He throws out, the, the last guy is thrown out, but now we're losing 2 nothing. And um, I will get somebody up in the bullpen. And again, this is another problem. You can see everybody in the bullpen is tiring, too. Um, I guess I'm going to get up Ossenmacher. Like, nobody out there is completely not tired. They would be white. Well, Gossage is. But Gossage has to come in, like, later on. So, uh, we were sending um, Justin Talbot up against Cuellar. That's going to be a walk. So, we got Talbot aboard, first guy. Lavalier is up. Lavalier hits a nice, well, kind of medium deep fly ball. Uh, excuse me, I got a sneeze. <coughs> All right. Now, uh, that brings up the second baseman, Kim, and he's going to lace a base hit. I'm just going to hold up the runner. We need, we need more than one run anyway. Um, and there's only one out, and we're back to the top of the lineup. So let me see what Johnson can do. Johnson is going to fly out. So there's two down and uh, Chris Morgan up. And Chris Morgan, is that a home run? No, it's a fly ball. <laughs> they they duped me. All right. So anyway, um, we go to the bottom of the fifth. And I'm going to see if Glenn can at least get one guy here. Probably not. No, he did. 
He got one guy. Let's see if he can get the next guy. Uh, that is going to be a fly ball. He got the second guy. Nice. All right. Now I will go get Ossenmacher. Because I don't want Ossenmacher war warming up through the next. Um, in fact, he would get tired before that. And Ossenmacher strikes the, the man he faces out, and so we are still only down 2 nothing in the top of the sixth. Love out of the park baseball. Have I ever mentioned that? So anyway, the first guy walks, and uh, Robin Ventura is up. Ventura Highway strikes out. That brings to the plate Cargo Vice. Cargo Vice striking out. And up steps Gizen. Gizen. I know it's Gian, but I just, whatever. All right, so uh, we're going to the bottom of the sixth. Awesome. See? Awesome mockery. He's already, the dude is already almost tired, completely spent. There's an out, one down. Um, and uh, Wayne Kirby up. Righty on righty, and he strikes him out. Or lefty on lefty, sorry, not righty on righty. And um, that brings Ricardo Valera up. And that's going to be a deep fly ball, but it's an out. So we are still only losing 2 nothing. I will get another guy up in the bullpen. Um, let's see. Do we want to go right to Gossage right here? I don't think so. I'm going to go, I'm going to warm up De Leon. Jose De Leon up in the bullpen. And uh, Talbot up at the plate. And he rips a base hit past the second baseman and he's aboard. No outs and a man at first. And we have Lavalier up. Now, this is lefty on lefty. Not good, but Lavalier may have tied the game. Did he do it? He did. Unbelievable. Lavalier, with a two-run blast, ties the game. And the Indians probably are in a little bit of shock right there. And that brings up Kim, the second baseman. And he's going to lace a base hit. So he's aboard. The hit parade has come to town all of a sudden. And we need it. Lance Johnson back to the top of the order. And he's going to lace a base hit. We are just all over the pitcher now. Pineda is in some real trouble here. Or wait a minute. No, this is Mesa. They brought in Jose Mesa. So runners at first and second. No outs. Morgan up. Or maybe Mesa's the new pitcher now. After we roughed up Pineda. And that is going to be a fly out. But it will advance the man to third. So we have runners at the corners. One down, and Big Frank, that's exactly what you want, except he strikes out. So there is two down, and uh, Ventura Highway, and he is going to pop out. But we did tie the game on the Lavalier home run. Unbelievable. Yes, you might say. And Ossenmacher is already spent. I expected that. We'll bring in Jose De Leon. And let's hope that he can hold it right here in the seventh. We do have a very fresh Gossage, as I mentioned, out in the bullpen. But um, I don't know if I want to go get him just yet. There is a base hit, though. DeLeon gives up a base hit, and now Adam Roundtree is up. And Adam Roundtree is going to get a base hit, and that's going to be two runners on and no outs. So we've got DeLeon in trouble. Mike King is the batter, and they're trying to bunt, and they're still trying to bunt, and uh, he gets the the uh, batter, but that moves runners to second and third with um, one out. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep the infield back. I I really don't like. Oh, that's a base hit anyway, but I don't like playing the infield in. I hate doing that. So he knocks in two runs with a base hit, 
and the Indians take a 4-2 lead, DeLeon getting racked and Jim Tomei up. And that's going to be a pass ball. That's all we don't need. And what was that? That was, uh, I guess, a, a balk. So, DeLeon just came in and threw gasoline all over the place. Um, and now, uh, to add insult to injury, he's tired. That is a, he caught the fly ball, but he couldn't get the runner at the plate. So, now they have a three-run lead. It's five to two. I'm going to keep him out there at least for the inning. Did he get him? Nope. Didn't get him. And he throws him out, and DeLeon's out of the inning, but we're down by three. I will go get somebody up in the bullpen. It's going to be McCaskill, our long man, I suppose. Um... Gossage, you don't want to bring Gossage in now because we're down by three runs. So unless we can get the three runs and start to claw our way back, I don't see any point to bring Gossage in. Um, that is a strikeout. And uh, Ozzy Gian up. Ozzy Gian flying out to right field. So there's two down quickly here in the top of the eighth. And uh, Talbot is up for us. And that's going to be a foul out to the catcher, Pena. So the Indians have shut us down in the eighth. We go back out there. Oh, I forgot. No, oh, no, I didn't forget to warm somebody up. I got McCaskill up. So we're going to bring McCaskill in. And, uh, you know, I mean, hope he can hold it right here. But then we still need three runs in the top of the ninth to tie the game. But there's the first out. He gets the first out. And see, look at this. Look at this. One batter, and he's already there. So uh, he must be real tired. He must be dogged. We must be dogging him. And we're dogging him to the dog house when he gives up a home run here. Well, this is, uh, I mean, I'm just keeping McCaskill out there. I'm not going to, you know. He's going to have to get out of the inning. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go through any other pitching um, in a game that we're probably going to lose anyway. So, McCaskill is out there until his butt gets handed completely to him, which is happening. So, it is seven to 7-2, and uh, that's going to be a fly out. So, that should be the second out of the inning, and it is. We're down by five runs, though, but thank you, McCaskill. Thank you, McCaskill and everybody else who, you know. And there's going to be another home run. So, uh, now it's 9-2, to two, and again, I am just going to keep McCaskill out there until he gets out of this inning because I'm not going to burn up any more pitching. And there's the ground out that gets us out of the inning. But we need seven runs right here, and call me crazy if I think we're not going to get it. So Lavalier is up. And he is going to walk. So we got one guy aboard. Of course, we need seven runs here. Kim is up, the second baseman, and he is going to be out. No double play, though. So there's only one down with Kim at first. And uh, Lance Johnson, the center fielder, is up. And he is going to hit the ball. What is that? Is it a double? Is it a home run? It's a, I guess it's a triple is what it is. Now, if this were a closer game, I would be real excited about that. But since we're still down by uh, way too many runs, it's 9-3. to three, um, I'm not that excited about it. Morgan is up at the plate. Um and he does get a, he looked a base hit. 9-4. It's 9-4, people. Don't, don't leave yet. Don't go get your popcorn yet. Thomas is up. Thomas strikes out, though. All right, now you can go get the popcorn. Uh, Robin Ventura Highway is going to get a base hit and keep the game alive for us. 
Down by five runs. A home run here by Carco Weiss would put us down by just two. And then we would really be in the game. It's Well, he walks and it's a bases loaded for us with Ozzie Guillen up. And you really can't pinch hit for Guillen because he's the main man at shortstop. And he is going to fly out to right field. And that is going to be it. So that is where we are. That is, uh, there's the uh, box score. We lost nine to four. You can take a look at the batting lines right here for both us and Cleveland. Um, you can see what everybody's doing here. Thomas hitting 344 on the year. Ventura at 295, but you know, uh, Guillen at 310 and Talbot at 438. You may need to get him some more playing time. Um, Glenn, he went four and two thirds, allowed four hits and only one earned run um, and walked a guy. He didn't pitch too badly, but he just got tired way too quickly, which was, you know, BS. And then you got Ossenmacher with an inning and a third, DeLeon with an inning, and McCaskill with an inning and giving up four runs. Thank you, McCaskill. So we're going to leave the game. And uh, we are going to finish today. And um, that is, we're going to take it back to the standings page. And there you go. We're five and a, we're still five and a half back. The Royals must have lost. Yes. I'm, I'm pretty sure the Royals lost. So we're still five and a half games back, but now we're five and a half games back of both the Indians and the Royals. And uh, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob's off.